quick. Can you give me um, a quick rundown of what the what for milling metal? What the differences would be between the three units? It, it, you know, for milling on metal, what what why there would be such uh, or not why there should or why is there a big difference between the three the three units as far as how it can each each machine can handle it? Um, the milling process itself is not so different, but everything. Um, what has to do with um, milling, for example, or working with implant abutments or with um, attachments is quite different because of the uh, electromagnetic fixation of the um, S3 milling arm and the manual locking system on the S2 and the S1 milling machines. That is, okay. is quite a big difference because um, the big advantage on the S3 milling machine with the uh, electromagnetic lock locking arm is that you can lock the arm in every position that you want by, by the foot switch. And that makes okay. it very comfortable for the technician, for example, to do just a simple drilling hole when you want to, um, how can I explain? For example, if you have a removable denture, which is based on implant abutments and you want to um, drill some holes, um, tap a thread inside the holes for preparing um, a fixation by screws. And then it is very, very comfortable on the S3 master. You just find the position for the drilling with your milling arm and then you push the push button from the foot switch and the position from your milling arm is locked immediately. And the big difference on the S2 and S1 milling machine is um, you have to release the milling spindle with one hand and you have to lock two knobs or two screws manually to fix the arm position. And that okay. is quite different. And as far as the S1 compared to the S2? Um, this is almost the same on both machines. There is no difference in uh, the locking of, of the arm. The only difference for the technician is um, the locking from the model table. On the um, S2 milling machine, you have a magnetic lockable model table. Um, maybe you can see it here now on the video yeah, picture. Yeah, that's better. For example, Um, when you are, let's bring it down a little bit like this. Now the arm is completely free, movable, and the model table as well. And when you want to fix everything in a certain position, you just activate the magnetic locking for the table. But for the milling arm, you need to release one of your hands and then you have to lock here and here and here. And now okay. the milling arm is locked and that's exactly the same on the uh, S1 milling machine. And then when we move up to the S3, there's, there, that's, where, that's where we roll into the uh, uh, magnetic uh, locking yeah. arm, correct? Yes. Where you can hit a foot pedal and then it would uh, do yes, that same exactly. type of function. Yeah. Yeah, now the arm is completely free. And just by pushing the magnetic locking switch, foot switch, the arm is locked. All right. So and then you can a, do your... That, that would be a big difference between the S1, S2, and S3 is, is that you have the magnetic uh, locking arm where it's a click yeah. of one button and it locks everything in, yeah. in, into place. And, and that gives you um, a more precise um, 
um, or you, you, you gain a, a little precision when you want to find your uh, position yeah. for the drilling. Uh, it's hard to explain now for me, but um, when you are doing it manually by hand, you always have some very slight, small movements just before you have locked it completely. Oh. So as you're tightening and you might get a, a little yes. slight movement, so you have yes. to be very careful that you're not moving that and you're, you're tightening it very carefully. Exactly. Yes, that's what okay. I mean. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That That is the main difference between the uh, S3 and the other two machines. Um, of course, um, the S1 design is a little bit more for simple milling for milling the telescopic crowns, for doing um, or for using it as a surveyor for um, remo removable dentures, which are based on clasps. And the S2 is um, a really a full-size milling machine, but it's a little bit more easy on the milling arm. The construction is not so complicated it's it's done quite easy and quite simple but everything has to be done manually so the okay. locking has to be done completely manually by the technician and therefore you have the fixation screws here and one on the other side especially this one here is for the drilling so when you lock the milling arm in a certain position. When this screw is open, you can use it as a drill, as a bench drill. And with this one screw, you can even lock the drilling depth. Okay. Does the um, lighting fixture come with all the units or is that just the S2 and S3? Which, which units come with the, uh, all the lighting feature? Or it can be added to all of them. It can be added to all of them, but they uh, S2 and S3, they come with a lighting unit as standard. 